The world's most challenging undersea tunnel project is this one. The 76,000-ton weight limit applies to the whole tunnel immersed tube. Formerly, this maritime region was referred to as the Forbidden Zone and Bridge Construction Zone. China is adamant on constructing a bridge here over the water. Amazingly though, Chinese engineers were powerless to address the issues with the underwater tube. Because of the difficult and complicated environment in the sea area, they could only turn to German engineers for assistance. Even a little negligence will have disastrous effects. What sort of tunnel is this then? The world's most significant trading route runs along this body of water. Every day, at least 5,000 ships enter and exit this port. China has grand plans to construct a bridge over the ocean. It is envisaged that this would link inland cities to Macau and Hong Kong. The journey time between these three locations will be reduced from the original 4 hours to 30 minutes if the crossbridge can be completed. The three areas' economies will benefit greatly from it. On a map, though, such a strategy appears to be ideal. Unfortunately, the project's implementation is extremely challenging due to the actual maritime environment. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge project includes this tunnel, which has a total length of 6.7 kilometers. China previously has significant expertise in eight major sea crossing bridges before this. Yet the engineer has practically no expertise with this intricate, substantial undersea tunnel project. If you intend to finish building the full bridge, several issues must be resolved in the tunnel. So if the tunnel's construction quality is poor, it will at the very least be unable to function. The tunnel's building criteria are exceptionally strict since, in the worst case scenario, the cars that travel through it will be buried in the sea. The real building difficulties is far more than engineers had anticipated. Yet in the end, they failed to come up with a novel approach. They then invited German engineers to attend. These designers are top-notch professionals. They have extensive expertise in the construction of undersea tunnels. They took involved in the building of the Ulsan Bridge. The longest undersea tunnel in Europe is the Sun Bridge, according to records. German engineers arrived, giving the project new life. The tunnel would directly utilize 2 million tons of concrete and 330,000 tons of steel bars, per the proposal. There is enough of this material to construct eight 828-meter-tall Burj Khalifas. A Burj Khalifa, however, takes five years to construct. So, does China want to take 40 years to construct this tunnel? In all likelihood, not. When their government issued that requirement, every engineer working on the project would be put under a great deal of pressure to finish it within a year and a half. But because German engineers have a vast reservoir of expertise, a formwork solution has been supplied to quickly finish the splicing, which has the potential to considerably boost the efficiency of the project. The next challenge to be answered, once the tunnel template has been completed, is how to successfully do the unmanned docking. Nonetheless, in order for these templates to be constructed in an official capacity, they need to first pass the test. The submerged tube tunnel that weighs 76,000 tons. How to draw it through the steel wires in a cautious manner so that it may be simply transferred to the water below. You need to have a good reputation. If this does not happen, the consequences will be quite severe. If the steel cable that is keeping the submerged tube in place at the location fails, the urban management tunnel has the potential to flip over in the strong ocean current and fall to the seabed below. It is possible that people could lose their lives as a result of this urban management project that would cost hundreds of millions of yuan. As a solution to this problem, a German engineer suggested employing the method of immersed tubes, which entails positioning the tube on the bottom, use measuring instruments and satellites for placement, and utilizing mechanical equipment to build the 76,000-ton submerged tubes on the seafloor, docking without a crew when submerged in water. These cutting-edge ideas quickly do away with the need for physical labor while also guaranteeing the safety of the workforce. It took around one and a half years to complete the building of the tunnel. As was to be anticipated, the Chinese engineers were taken aback by the superior might of the German engineers. German experts provided assistance to them in finishing a wonderful project, which ensured the smooth running of the entire bridge construction project. After the construction of the tunnel is complete, the Chinese engineers had to create two islands, which was a feat that was incredibly difficult to do, so that they could link the bridge to the underwater tunnel. The same issue that they had, however, 
was that the height of the tower on the Hong Kong Zhuhaimako Bridge was intended to represent maritime shipping, and the neighboring Hong Kong International Airport had imposed a height limit of 150 meters on the neighborhood structures to ensure the safety of the planes. The height of the tower on the Hong Kong Zhuhaimako Bridge was intended to represent maritime shipping. This value range is almost completely outside of what the channel is capable of displaying. The only choice available is to construct two man-made islands. I decided to use Tsushima as my example, since it has a surface area of around 100,000 square meters and a silt layer that is between 15 and 20 meters deep. Undoubtedly, this marks the beginning of the process of fabricating an artificial island on top of a cotton blossom. Assuming that all of the more than 8 million cubic meters of silt were removed in their entirety. A business of this scale would unquestionably cause significant environmental damage to the oceans. As a result of the favorable conditions that exist in this area for the survival of endangered species, such as humpback dolphins and Indo-Pacific humpback whales, environmentalists were quick to oppose the activities. Its position is just as important as the enormous panda in China. Also, even if other Asian countries are present in the sea region, they will not allow China to build a bridge and contaminate the water, even if China's actions have been noticed. This is because the other Asian nations will not want to be associated with China's actions. When the sludge at the bottom of the lake had been cleaned by the dredger, the engineers came up with the ingenious concept of erecting artificial islands out of giant steel cylinders. The 550-ton steel cylinder was submerged 21 meters deeper into the sea after being dropped into the river using an intelligence system. The total number of steel cylinders comes to 120, and each one has a diameter of 22 meters, which is comparable to the dimensions of a basketball court. At a height of 55 meters, which is equivalent to a building that consists of 28 floors, when this steel cylinder has been loaded with sand, the foundation of the artificial island is finished being constructed, and construction may then begin on the artificial island. When the construction of the artificial island has been completed, building the full bridge is going to be a lot less difficult. In December of 2009, construction on the entire project got underway. And in October of 2018, it was finally wrapped up. It is astonishing that the sea crossing bridge that is still under construction will have a life expectancy of 120 years. In all, the length of the bridge is 55 kilometers. The deck of the bridge is designed to resemble a highway that is two-way and has six lanes, with a maximum speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour. After accounting for all of the expenses associated with the project, the final tally came in at $18.2 billion. In addition to this, it has garnered acclaim all around the world for its remarkable construction size and cutting-edge technology. Due of the aid provided by German engineers, it is possible to assert that the glory of the bridge is intimately related to the efforts that they made. The construction of the bridge may continue according to plan now that new economic corridors for the Chinese cities of Hong Kong and Macau have been identified. Share your opinion in comments. Also, click on this video to watch about another shocking project.